Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and in this video, I'm gonna showcase an article from Content Marketing Institute on email tips for 2020. Okay, this article is really cool because it gives you, the reader, five tips to improve your email conversions for 2020. It's a good starting point, especially for those who are getting into email marketing, who want to optimize their email campaigns coming into 2020. This is actually a really good refresher and some really good tips to know for your email campaigns. So first tip is email segmentation. Uh, in the article, there are a few tips like new customers, existing customers, active versus dormant, and recently engaged. The second tip is getting that open. Tips around that starts from your from address, split A-B testing, so testing your subject lines out, adding emojis and other kind of visuals to help. Third tip is mobile first. Slim headers, fonts, making them as big as possible, and structuring your email for mobile to have a single column. Fourth tip is test. Test and learn all the time. I would also use 10% which is what the article also indicates, 10% of your list. Fifth tip, don't be afraid of unsubscribes. Offer your audience different email lists to unsubscribe from or add to, so that at least you have opportunities to communicate them. And the last tip is about empathy. Having empathy towards your user base. Always experiment, always have empathy towards your customers. As you build out your campaign, refine it, you're gonna create some learning, some insights that's unique to your brand, to your industry, that you're gonna use to get closer to your 2020 goals. I think it's great. I think it reminds you as a marketer some of the tips that you need in order to create the best possible email campaign that you can. Uh, it also reminds you to continually test and learn. It reminded me as I was reading it, is closing that loop. So you're doing all the hard work to try and get them to open up that email, engage them through that email, and hopefully get that click through. Now it's trying to close that loop. So once they click through to that email link and land on your landing page, what are you doing to optimize that landing page in order to close that loop, push them down the funnel towards some sort of either acquisition or some sort of conversion that you're trying to measure? So what do you think? Do you think this article is relevant to you, getting you closer towards your 2020 goals? If so, let me know in the comments below. Please like and share, and I'll see you in the next video.